Hello and welcome to another edition of Goa 365's Assembly Audit. We've been uh, discussing the various things that have been happening in the Assembly during these days that the session is on and outside also and connected as well. So with me today, uh, today in today's panel, I have Trajan De Mello of TMC. Trajan Bab, welcome to our Sandesh Telikar of AAP, Sandesh Bab, welcome. Avinash Bosle of NCP, Avinash Bab, welcome. Viraj Naik, Viraj Bab, welcome. Siddharth Saman, Siddharth Bab, welcome to our show. Now, Trajan Bab, I would like to start off with you. Can you give us a general thing of what has happened in the assembly, in the, I think today is the eighth day, another two days left and we are Sorry, done. At least number of working days. First of all, to say what is happening in the uh, assembly, is the sanctity of the assembly still continues. Just assurances are given. What was given in the past assembly, 80% of the assurances are not fulfilled. And everybody takes that credit saying that I got assurance from the minister. It's quite more or less the passing time making a fool of the public. You see, that very sanctity where every word spoken on the floor of the house had that force that it would happen is not there anymore. Show me one of the that will happen in the, before the next assembly. And if it doesn't happen, what happens? There is no penalty. And at the same time, we have a opposition who is totally at their ease. Sandesh Bab, I don't know, your party is just new, first time in the opposition, at least in Goa. You agree opposition on you know, some sections of the opposition or whatever, I don't know. When I, I believe when he says opposition, it means Congress because he, they are the <coughs> largest second party. And uh, they, for their own reasons, have failed, uh, failed to perform the uh, part of opposition, a uh, strong opposition. It's pointless to speak about Congress actually, so I, I wouldn't get into it. But then having two MLAs, we have tried our best and we have tried to touch each and every issue that connects to the common man. We've tried putting questions, uh, unstart questions, start questions. Uh, very few could come. That's another game plan of the ruling BJP. But then we have made a mark. That's what we feel. We need to do more. We are not saying we have done 100 percent. We need to do lots more. But then we have started it and I believe uh, in the coming times we will be the strongest opposition in the state. I, this is something that we were discussing just before this. So, Avinash Bab, yes, I agree if today Congress fails, has failed. The one point I would like to I think is your allies, but uh, there is no leader of opposition from the Congress side. The leader of opposition in the Congress is by the Speaker. Just <laughs> to put it on record, Ranesh Babu is right. Suppose if the Congress fails as an opposition, and AAP takes over, but also NCP has got a good chance on that. Yeah. So many issues to be discussed. Tax seats, YRZ, Kala Academy, rain preparation, Uba. There, there are there is a galore of issues, not only one, mm. because what has been happening, nothing has been seen as it, it is though. It's a monsoon session, which is supposed to be 45 days, where real threadbare discussions should have happened. But unfortunately, it's at another day. Today is the eighth day. Nothing has cropped up. It has just been a ritual which is being performed. Of course, I very well congratulate uh, AAP for that matter. Even uh, RG has performed with the performance. Vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Congress has, uh, you know, absolutely disappointed the people uh, over that performance. Of course, NCP doesn't have any account in the house. We are a zero then. We had a lone MLA, as I said last time. <laughs> and then his conduct was such, he was hardly with us. He was all the time. Before before the government, you, they were what you call uh, MLA elect. Before he could uh, swear an oath, he goes to the governor and says, I support uh, <laughs> So that is unfortunate <laughs> part. But yet, as you rightly said, there is a very much scope. Beside the Congress, because Congress has been replaced, it has been evident. Very fact that we have a two up MLAs and one RG MLA in the house that speaks how Congress has been marginalized. And it is the being of this not a credit, I would not give it to BJP or somebody. Credit goes to Congress itself for this. And at another goal has been happening, self-goal, or keep on they having a self-goal upon themselves. But at there's a definitely a scope for NCP and like-minded other local parties like up and all. To have a space. Ultimately, we are not going to squeeze in the space of BJP. It is not possible. Talk, so we have a space of Congress only, because you cannot. If in 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 a, in a jar, 
if there are marbles you will see the law of probability you put a hand there are black marbles and white marbles you know now there are black mar black marbles have become congress and white marbles are bjp so obviously we are going to pick up the black marbles and that is a replacement so right now whether it is a taximens issues whether there is a men your mining issue as we discussed yesterday then we had now also the issue of crz so there are various issues that our i don't blame the house today because it has been designed in such a way there are plans they don't want to because they don't want any discussion because ultimate uh, the test of a uh, democracy uh, if uh, because we are a parliamentary form of democracy and real touch wood which is a uh, stone which you call it's a house that is utmost but now we have to rely on the people's court that is a supreme house so supreme house is now we have a uh, um, uh, panchayat election which is down very grounded elections that will speak the result but at i will i'm not been you know rather trying to be complacent but the thing will turn out because these are the people ultimately they will photograph themselves whether it is a congress people or bjp people or yeah, and they will be the chair of ruling party obviously they need yeah. money you know they want to develop it and already this train has been sent by their uh, forefathers like uh, your mla <laughs> senior <know> people <laughs> <laughs> we are joining them for uh, <laughs> development development of my constituency so this is the rituals which are conducted we are not happy what has been going on at this is the eighth day which is unfortunate date nothing has been transacted dead seriously and no heed is given to the real issues of the people that is unfortunate viraj bhai i would shift the thing from uh, basic politicking before i get to uh, sabant bhai like give us a different perspective like from your perspective you have uh, like we've been following uh, the last election the assembly is generally what you would like to so, uh, put forward so as i usually say the current trend among the electorates when we were going on the field and doing the surveys and even otherwise so no one is uh, really that much interested in what happens in the legislature even the assemblies which are there uh, people are not that interested as they used to be in the past so it is more about uh, person to person connect so they want their mla to be available on the call attend uh, at night if there something goes wrong and that kind of thing so that focus is shifting i would say even the electorate is par partly responsible for it because their demands is what the mla tries to fulfill so you cannot go against the people because finally they are the ones that elect you so that is one point that i feel uh, as far as a different perspective is concerned savan bab I'm the Trojan Bapan Mandli. About 80 percent of the assurances which were given are not have not been done. Now even that also you can ask. Last time, see how 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 else do you settle this issue? If there has been certain promises or the assurances, if it is given on the last elect last uh, assembly, then you question the government on the two uh, two days two days. Yeah, forty nine January, Vishar Pal said that what the forty Baba your assurances did not achieve the result. You either take them to task in assembly <coughs> or you hold a separate press conference and do. what i am saying is uh, if you see in this uh, last 8 days of uh, assembly this opposition has not been able to except for last 2 3 days first 5 4 5 days they have literally given walk over to the this it's only last 2 or 3 days questions on mining taxi crz unemployment and tourism have been asked and most of the question in fact most of the questions have been asked from the ruling side Divya Rani has asked more questions than others. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So in fact, just talking is, about Divya Rani, I see Divya Rani has Divya. spoke spoken about employment. Empl that's that's what like. that's that's what I have been saying. So even the employment for this was this was this was supposed to be coming out of the mouth of opposition, but I it is coming know, out from, from so. the ruling side. So therefore, uh, uh, therefore, uh, and, and another point which he he has been making, yes, that is, uh, by and large, people have stopped taking interest into the. affairs of the assembly earlier people would uh, even when there was no uh, there were only print media they would literally read as to what has happened and you would see people discussing whether it is on the barber shop or on a tea shop today you don't hear such such kind of discussion so yes lokachi udasinata ya ya assembly prakaranache ekandar this is this is bit worry एक चिंते की बाब आ कि लोग एसेम्ली घटता पे सी वी हैव वी हैव अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मेट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इफ द गवर्नमेंट हैज टू बी हेल्ड अकाउंटेबल यू कैन हैव देम अकाउंटेबल एट टू प्लेसेस वन इज वाइल वोटिंग एंड सेकेंड हाउ हाउ दे कंडक्ट दम सेल्व बाय आस्किंग क्वेश्चन इन द एसेम्ली So, as far as voting is concerned, that will come once in five years. But most of this we could because there were earlier people would 
press their own assembly uh, uh, elected MLA to uh, go and ask these questions. The, these are the problems that we are facing. Please ask it. Today such things are not happening. Today people have found other alternatives of getting their work done. They probably go to the MLA or the ruling side and then directly put up their questions or grievances that these are the problems. Which, which uh, in a democracy I don't see is a good sign. Not a good sign. Not a very good sign because it whatever problems of the uh, pro problems of the state has to be discussed in the assembly and the floor of the house. Trayambab, you have been in politics for a very long time. You have been working with stalwarts of 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 uh, Goan politics. Also. What do you see? What is the what is the you know? How is politics today, especially the legislative policy, assembly policy? See, I have only started by saying that the very sanctity of the assembly is not there anymore. And I think Bab Viraj and Savar, by saying people are not interested, when do people do not get interested? When they lose faith in the system, then you get not interested. It's as simple as that. I only made it a little <laughs> holier than thou to say that very sanctity <laughs> is God. The assurances are not met. Now, I'm so, my friend, he said, uh, certain parties have touched uh, some issues. Touching an issue, I can do it also. To that. Now, what, does, what, what does it do? <coughs> we are doing it, he is also doing it. Touching issue out of the house and in the house, what is the difference? There is no difference. This is what I am trying to say. They are, they are passing time and therefore, rightly both of them pointed out, they went it, they went people oriented to say that nobody is interested in what is happening. We are talking about chises and so on. We are talking about if this mentality has gone deep, sunk deep, and what is happening today, those who are sitting in the opposition are going to cross tomorrow to the ruling. <laughs> uh, what are you going to waste time for? <laughs> who is going? Which which fool is going to waste time for at the end of the day? My question is: This politics has reached a level where a tremendous churning is required. If not, the faith and hope of the people in a democratic system has totally crumbled. You also have been in politics for a very, very long time. I mean, not only uh, electoral politics, you've been there before that student for a lot. So, what, what do you feel like these issues, see, like uh, taxi issues, CRZ, rain preparation, flooding, the people should have been uh, walking out. I mean, like, you know, generally making an issue, but uh, what is it? Zauna. Oh, I know you have said last time that no, they are young, they have to still learn, but no, why? That was definitely an opportunity. How flooded, no. like, what yeah, you need to learn? as you rightly said last time, 50% of the assembly, present yeah. August assembly is newcomers. There are 19 of the MLAs on either side, opposition, treasury bench as well as opposition, they are newcomers. So they definitely require some sort of time because it's becoming for their first maiden assembly presence. And I would definitely give a benefit of doubt and they need to be studied, they need to be encouraged ultimately. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, see, we want a result, people like to spend a result. Result in the house, also result out of the house. Even now people look at the MLA, the local representative, whether it's a councillor or Sarpanch Panch or an MLA, they feel their job has to be given. So it is in their narrative, their perspective. So their uh, attention towards what is happening in the house, though Goa is such a big uh, next to Kerala, we are highly li literacy, but the enthusiasm and interest which is shown by the people of Kerala, that is not been shown by our goals. We are least interested because um, they have come to know in Goa, because Goa being a very small place, so now it is uh, written on the wall. They will definitely flow back to some other party. They will turn. So there is a trust deficit. And that's why because of this trust deficit, the people cannot connect themselves to the representative. And the issues are not taken in the right perspective. What are required? And we go these small, small things, which are also cosmetic things. Which is now we will be very happy. What a flyer, kaiti, zada, kaiti flyover. So we are happy on that. And we've come bigger, 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 big, big plows. Like this is an irony of a democracy. We laugh at it. But in fact, we should laugh at ourselves, which is not happening. It is unfortunate in a parliamentary form of democracy. It, now it comes to it. Are we really fit for this democracy? No. This question is what? Because Trojan has rightly asked, where is the sanctity? Sanctity is not seen. There is no, that is where I put it this way. Trust deficit. So this needs to be. You can very well pass a de de deficit budget, but there needs to be surplus, surplus of trust, confidence, faith, which is lacking in this present house. 
so everybody there's a distrust you look in a suspicion so this is unfortunate part so now if you want to connect because there was an era where during our student movement so their connectivity was there that homogeneity was there and there was a trust if i do something uh, my colleague had a faith in me even if i'm doing wrong they stood by with my wrong they did not desert me at that point of time no abhinash you are wrong so that even during wrong you should support a wrong if that wrong is being done for the good of many so here there is all galore of wrong 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 everything happening and the now here it was under carpet now it is over the carpet <laughs> nothing is in the carpet okay that is unfortunate sandeep sandeep yeah now uh, i don't know like i got really confused <laughs> in this but yeah the but uh, aap has taken up lot of issues right but one point i would like to make uh, especially uh, especially especially uh, with uh, the ruling government and and uh, and uh, parties like uh, aap and this today it looks as if the ultimate and only thing that is there in 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 this is elections so everybody moves towards it. only when election time comes everybody gets energized the uh, the politicians the, the media the people everything you feel that is when like uh, just to add on i know it's a little uh, beyond your i mean like uh, not exactly on your brief but you think that is happening that's why people don't pay so much attention to this or people are paying attention to this what do you feel sandeep uh, as trojan and my colleague said uh yes people have lost their faith in democracy it's it's bad to say this but then it it is a fact ani aka responsible jase lok asa जैसे स्वता लोक आसा ते ये राजनी है जे जितले राजनी आज मैं लोक लोक फेता कड़न लोक विश्वास कड़न खेल ज्या भाषे खेले अपने स्वार्था खीर खेल तो देट इज द रिजन पीपल हैव लॉस्ट फेथ इन दैट आज लोक ही खे तरी स्वार्थी जला लोक आज गोये पॉलिटिक्स ये फिर अपने पुर्ती मर्यादित अपने भोवती अपने इट्स सराउंडिंग मी माका किते मेटले माजे किते काम जातले ताजा बाहेर पॉलिटिक्स ना सो इलेक्शन्स बेसिकली बेसिकली इलेक्शन्स सो खैतरी पॉलिटिक्स हाजो जो खरो अर्थ असा इट्स 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 अ वे ऑफ सर्विंग पीपल दैट इज नॉट देयर एनी यू फील योर पॉकेट्स यू फील योर पीपल्स पॉकेट्स एंड दैट्स ऑल जनरल सो व्या खातिर जो इलेक्शन थिंग या द वे वी आर मूविंग इन अ डायरेक्शन Elections will also be wiped out. There will be direct nominations. Exactly. Yeah, so, think so. Yeah, but when I say, but me, when I say direct nominations, me, ah, girl, do Congress the candidate? Hey, no, thang a girl, BJP is a one, one party, one nation. It is leading to that. The it will be just bulldozed. Democracy is also part of the solution in that direction. But democracy is a solution. It's betterment of all. But today it has been made. People from Maharashtra are going to Rajasthan and get elected there, or Ra or Rajya Sabha. Where is this? Where is this? So yeah, betterment <laughs> of few, <laughs> few changes are allowed. Today's current. Tazo, tazo result was that like the local people who are there, so they are doing weird things. And that's Tazo. That's our Parina Maz Popak Maita. And if all the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, is ruling us, this is taking the best advantage of all this. Now the people, society is selfish. मजो फायदो कि फर्स्ट थिंग फाला फसल मोर्चा आ रे तो आपको फायदो कि इफ दीस इज गोट वीथ एटिट्यूड यू आर गेटिंग द रिजल्ट यू गेट द गवर्मेंट यू डिजर्व बट एक्चुअली वन थिंग दिस आई वुड लाइक टू डिजग्री विथ यू राजन बाब लिटू प्लीज कीप ऑन डिजग्री थ्रू आउट टू पीपल आउट ऑफ द डिबेट विच आई डोंट थिंक दे विल एप्रिशिएट बट द थिंग इज दैट i think uh, i think now parties like yours and aap have realized this and i think they are becoming little more people centric yeah, even our force that is working against this is tremendous no once uh, about 2 3 years back nobody was reacting now the reactions have started coming but at the very uh, it takes time uh, i can say the south of india may keep us alive yeah. and go i would think i would hope so viraj ma bol raha hai ji the way here i was all bad was uh, laboratory <laughs> in all bad way yeah. so shifting from the politics let us come to the issues <coughs> and so maybe yeah. we can dis- throw some light on that so coming to the main taxi issue it's been going on for quite some time mm. now uh, the 
government has taken an initiative saying that they'll get uh, Ola, Uber, and uh, app your app-based taxis. So this change, uh, see, we have to realize that with time we have to change. Uh, App-based taxis are all over the world. Mm. So Uber is an international thing. Ola is from India, and every country, China, Thailand, has their own versions of it. So. We have to get into it, but at the same time, let's look at the problem. So the problem from the consumer side is high fare, which is I would uh, I would say most of them will agree. Now, just because the fare is high, you get app-based taxis that might not be fair to the taxi Locals. owners. Yes. So if you look at their problem, the biggest problem in Goa is they don't get return fares. So they have to go and then come back and they charge the. Return. Uh, return fare to the uh, first client, the customer. So if that can change, maybe they can come down on their uh, rates. That can change by app based taxi. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. how can this be changed? Mm -hmm. This can be changed by in two ways. One, app based taxis, if they are able to give them re return fares, if the prices come down, even the locals will start using it. Currently, the problem is only tourists use. Everyone is a, I think that is not a problem of the, of the of the locals. The locals. That is a problem of the app base. Yes. Like yes. Goa miles, I remember when Goa miles, the, the people they had come to meet us. I told them, you all are concentrating on tourists. There you have so much of competition, yellow and black, all the different. But if you go for locals, our transport system is 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 the worst. Pathetic. Nobody would want to go by it. It's so a question. Coming to uh, Goa Miles, so it's a good initiative. But no, but you, they did. You they went only for tourists. They did not go yeah, for locals. If you That's why go to a place like I was booking a taxi for a friend in Ponda, there was not a single taxi available. Correct. So, how are the locals going to use it? Exactly. So if you look at the app based taxis, they charge somewhere around 20 to 25 percent, even 30 percent at times from the fare. Now, that's quite a lot. So, this will eat. You have to understand that this comes from the profit of the taxi drivers, not the revenue. So, if government can negotiate on this thing and something could be worked out which is like reduces the fare and also goes in the favor of the taxi owners because they also have to survive and uh, they have Obviously to take care of their, business. they have to make profit finally. So, this is something I think uh, there has to be some trade off somewhere and both the parties should sit together and come at a common conclusion just by sticking at one end I don't think a solution will come out. The thing is that the taxi should be like how you have in Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore. Locals also should. Tourists should be okay, chal, by the way. But locals should be the main uh, beneficiaries. Yeah, beneficiaries of this app. Uh, then taxis will be. And then also these dadagiri of this certain section mm. will not work because locals will support the taxi. You know. Saad Bab, we have discussed this earlier. Yes, that, we will be that, discussing that, it. That, the is, the that is what I was saying. Stages. That is what I was saying. Now, you just take, take Trojan's example. Now, he has come from Mapsa. Exactly. He has paid around 350 to 400 rupees for on fuel. Now, if he gets one side drop for about 100, 150 rupees, he will never use his car. See, he can he can talk while coming, he can read something while coming. Exactly. His hands are free. He would always take a text. Now, these things for are the going why to be possible. Why? You, me, all of us. We would have to go. I was trying madly for this war miles. Correct. I could not get it, but. Correct. That is what. Yeah. That is. So, all these things, see, when these it, things will happen, yeah. when it doesn't work presently, it doesn't work. presently the system is such that it is not possible for you to even think that you would get. Now, for example, if you want to go to say Kalangut from here, you know for you can maybe take a taxi from here to Kalangut, but if you want Kalangut to come back, you will have to take another taxi from Kalangut and here and you end up paying four times. So, that, <coughs> that's the reason. So, all this this market for drop back will happen only when app based taxi is come or you formulate some other policy or, or some app or some forum whereby uh, now Goa miles was one other thing, but that also was not allowed to function. The drivers are beaten up. But th all sorts of threats are taken. It was a that was all a strategy. sorts of threats. All sorts Goa of threats. Was strategically yes. very bad. Yes. The another, way they targeted. Yes. An the, another point which was focus. another point which was persistently being discussed that uh, people have uh, lost faith in democracy. I think that's a much far that's end. Strong. Yeah. See, but. I mean, Kukunin Mandar ni lok sadhya udasi na sahe. People are people are you know uh, sort of withdrawing from the discussion. Tanelia. No, uh, uh, means they, up, they, they, are, they, they are sad about these things. They are sad about these things that these things are happening. But it's not that they have given up on democracy. See, democracy is I like a given up. Losing faith. Losing faith. Yeah, that's given up. Like, sorry. Hmm. See, uh, democracy is is it's like a festival. You everybody has to participate in that. Then only that first festival become successful democracy will be as good as the people as good as the people's particip participation that is the only thing that that can uh, 
uh, unless you seek some sort of an accountability from your accounted leaders now there could be various ways maybe you introduce something like uh, uh, recalling your mlas if he is not performing just 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 a thought i am not saying that's a topic for some other day but something of that sort but that is something see the idea behind it is seeking accountability it may not be recalling but there should be something whereby you make himself accountable for failure of his uh, duties as a minister or as a mla or as a mp or whatever position that see what i think says that uh, democracy is like a festival it is a festival but it is become holy and uh, what you call that carnival okay. they all do not want to participate okay, okay, okay. is that yes. i just want to add yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 i just want to add to the taxi thing yes uh, there are issues with the local taxis with, but it's a very marginal uh, thing very few people who have spoiled the name but yes, then yes, i think there is a need for government to act more responsibly we need a government regulated uh, app you know wherein the revenue comes to the government and don't give it to some private okay, party yes guys we will continue this discussion next time some other run out run out of uh, of time completely it was a, it was an interesting discussion though elections uh, i don't know democracy lots of very profound topics came up besides taxes you know thanks thanks guys so and we will be back tomorrow at the same time